Hi guys, um, just a quick tutorial here today. It's in regard to proportional dividers for working on your art. Now I'm going to show you some examples and um, it's just to show you the benefits of it and how you can save yourself some time. Um, personally, I don't, um, here's, a, here's a drawing I did yesterday, right? But personally, I don't like grids. One is they're very time consuming, but they can save you time at the end, I suppose. But I just don't like them for some reason, it's just not my thing. But this one here, I just did freehand and I was looking at a picture on screen and I said, I'm not gonna use this. And I spent, oh, I don't know how long, and I don't like it, okay? At the end of the day, I don't like it and I wasted my time, so, there you go. If I didn't, if I had have used the proportional dividers, I think I would have been a lot more happy with this. I ended up working on this nose, which is all over the place, for ages trying to get it right. When I could have just started off using this and getting my measurements correct. Um, another one here that I did a few days ago. Now I'm a bit more happy with this. Again, I did. The, I didn't measure this one. I was just actually practicing with charcoal, which I've taken up recently. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit happier with this one, but then again, you know, I didn't have to do the detail in the eye or anything like that. The eye is shut, which makes it much easier, you know, and uh, yeah. So I didn't use this, but uh, I'll show you one where I was working on with the proportional divider and this, this one here. Now, I find that if you do spend a little more time at the start, getting your proportions right. So what I do is, like this would be a bigger piece of paper than the actual screen I'd be looking at, say off a phone or an iPad. I'd measure, like so, I'll just show you this. What you do with a proportional divider is, you can put it anywhere along here, depending on the ratio you want to get. So I have it down at the bottom here, so I'll just show you. I'll tighten that up and I would measure, like say from the corner to the corner, like that. And then if it was working on a, say, a bigger, an A1, A2 size piece of paper, that would be the ratio of the actual eye. So I just put in dot there, dot there. You can also use it for um, kind of angling off screen. So you can use it as a measure of the angles, okay? So yeah, I hope that helps you out. And uh, yeah, join me again soon. Please like and subscribe. Bye bye.